Making this up now. We got Seventy-five percent of the sem of the Dutch Elm in America were killed by that dreaded bug. Kent lays bunker shot at three. Oh, yeah! Oh. There we finally we have a birdie. If you're going to miss, that's the spot on three today. You cannot miss to the right. I think it's an easier shot from the bunker than it is short of the green and putting up and over that hill. Lucas Herbert, a moment ago at the first. This is not easy. Going to use. Oh, there's the kick. Or maybe it Whoa. is easy. Oh, wow. What a. But he had no idea what a bonus that was. Huh. Back on the six. Abraham answers second. Yeah, he's got 56 yards. And the lie looked pretty good. And let's see if he could do better than Paul Casey. Yeah, that's a lot better than Paul Casey. And that's helped by that wind quite a bit. It looked like he had a very nice lie in the rough. Straight back up the hill. Probably one of the slower putts at wing foot. Well, who, who cares where you hit it? Walk it in. Well, he did end up taking advantage of it. I said the putter could come in and save him, and it did. <laughs> his third birdie in his last four holes. All Paul right. Casey. Over at 17, got Robert McIntyre here from the thick rough of this long par for 500 yards. Yeah, it, these last three holes, it's about 1,500 yards of just pure struggle. Look at that. Not judging by that. <laughs> As we go to eight now and Sung JM, there has yet to be a birdie here at the eighth so far today. Just off the putting surface, but using a putter is Sung J. Huge swinger from right to left. How about this? Oh, yeah. Wow. Sung JM showing us all how to get it done. It's Herbert, his third at the par five. Asking for it to get down. Yeah, it's got some room there. That should feed back into this hole location. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a backstop. Keep coming. Look at the Australian. Do it. Getting it close. Oh. Now he's asking for it to go in. <laughs> now he's getting greedy back there. Even in his start. By the way, Alex Norn's making it interesting to see where he can go on this third round. That is a beauty. Up ahead on the green is Zach Johnson for birdie. Yeah, got a little slope to negotiate there. Oh, wow. Look at that. And Zach is off to a fantastic start. Stay two under for the day. Wow. Wow. He has made a couple of those on this back nine so far. The one at 13 and now here at 16. Hovlin playing out of the rough from behind the green at two. Looks like it's sitting up though. This will be the no follow through special here. Oh, he even recoiled on it. That was cool. What a good looking shot. It is speedy and Victor oh, yeah. has a wreck with a stick. That's a way to get it to stop. Well, the backswing was three times the size of the follow through, which was almost negative. Eitri from back of the green here at the fifth. This has been the hardest hole on the course the first couple days it won't be much easier Welcome today. back to the left oh that might be a skin perfect read by Dietrich so he goes bogey bogey and then he birdies the fifth to get it back to plus four Tsuyama getting his third round going with his second position perfectly in the middle of the fairway this green is protected by a nice big old mound right in front of the flag stick and then a mound behind it it's going to be real close for Hideki. Yeah. That's perfect. That should be a birdie start for Matsuyama. A little, uh, maybe a slight dog leg to the right. Second shot up the hill. It's a fun second shot, David, where yeah. this hole's cut. Yeah, if they get in between. Ooh, that's perfect right there. Doesn't even need the slope behind. This U.S. Open was played here 14 years ago. All right, just a moment ago, Dan here at the ninth. Zach Johnson, third shot. Gets it over the little ridge and funnels it right into the hole. He's putting together quite the highlight reel here. Yes, he is. <laughs> there we go, a double fist bump with the caddy. 
Nicely done. So Zach Johnson uh, turns in 33. Just the second under par front nine turned in today. Alex Norn with 34, the only other one. Victor Hovland for birdie over at the fifth. Well, he was out here late on Wednesday, practicing a short game, playing a few holes. Wow. Trying to figure out these greens and uh, figured out the fifth. These guys aren't intimidated. You know, Matthew Wolf, Victor Hovland, they've never seen a course like this. You know, they don't know a lot about the history of it. So this was his fourth just a moment ago. Okay, you got the slope. This will come back. Oh. Are we showing this for uh, all Yeah. <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> Four all the way, Sting. <laughs> what a shot. So you see it come all the way down the hill, and you make a routine ho-hum par to finish off your Saturday with a plus three round of 73. And look at the line here that's being chosen by Webb Simpson at 11. You have to be able to read your putts on an arc here. It's really helpful, and uh, he's not going to do that, is he? Oh, yes, oh. he is. <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable. So Webb Simpson is a factor. You thought he would be coming into this week, playing some of the best golf of his career. That's his third shot. They got on a good line. Wow, just curls in around the flagstick. Xander Schaufley back to even par. Lucky Neiman's birdie putt from some 63 feet, five inches. Haven't seen but two birdies here today until that. So it is possible. Looking from his right. Gets there. He it's, got there. What a what? He made a few bombs today. The guy can putt. I'm serious. If you if you let him putt for Peters today, I think Peters shoes under par.